everyone, welcome back. As promised, I am going to show you that little trick I had told you about for how to revive hellebores if they are not cooperating for you. This is every florist's worst nightmare. I know I love working with these flowers and there have been many times where I'm dealing with a spring wedding and these flowers come in looking perfect and then the very next day they go south on me very quickly. So if you can see, I mean some of these are okay. This guy here looks like, I mean, Generally speaking, these flowers do have a lot of arch. They have a lot of attitude about them. So you don't really want to have them perfectly straight up like that unless, you know, you're doing a bouquet or something and that particular part is going to be in the top center of it. You might want to wire it or uh, use one of your tricks for that. But for centerpieces and larger scale arrangements, um, you want to make sure they still have a little bit of bend to them. However, you do not want them to have this type of bend to them where the poor thing is literally just, I mean, it's really, really not doing so well. So the little trick I have learned through the years is to put them in scalding hot water. Now, this isn't actually tea kettle hot boiling water, but it is as hot as my faucet can possibly um, get the water. So it, it's scorchingly hot. So I'm going to go ahead and slice the bottom of my stem on an angle using my knife. And if you can see that, got it, Matt? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Matt's my cameraman once again. <laughs> He's a brave kid today. So we're going to slice it like that and then up again through the center like that. Do you guys see that? Yep. Hopefully that that's on. okay. So I am going to do that for literally every one of these flowers for 30 seconds or so. And then, whoops, believe it or not, you can even put them under water if you need to. Those guys are going to go under like that. And we're going to slice every one the same way. And this seems really mean, like, oh my God, is this florist out of her mind? Why on earth are you boiling flowers? But I will show you, they're tougher than you think. Now, if you have one that's like truly in distress, you're gonna have to keep changing the water. And I've soaked mine for up to like an hour or two. They're in really, really bad shape, but they perk right back up. Oh my gosh, this is hot. <laughs> I am boiling my, my uh, fingers off here. But I think most florists have really, really tough, almost like asbestos hands. If you've ever worked in restaurants, you know, the chefs can pretty much take anything out of the ovens with their bare hands and it doesn't even bother them. I think florists are that way too. We're really pretty brave when it comes to how tough our skin is. With hot temperatures and cold temperatures and sharp thorns and all of that. All right, so I'm just cutting them some more. All right. Matt, if you can, I need you to just pop in. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Like that. I need to pop okay. in. And these other ones honestly look fine. I don't think they need much treatment. It was just this batch that seemed to be particularly in distress. So right now, if you take a shot from the top, Matt, it, it looks like you have flower soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it um, does look like that. It is. It's like flower soup. So we're just going to leave it like this for a little bit. I'm going to cut, um, I'm going to cut, I'm going to get a vase of water to put these in when they're ready. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to leave them like that. These guys, um, I'm going to leave them like that for about 15 minutes. So we'll take them out um, like 2.15 now, 2.30, and we'll check back with you and I'll show you guys how they turned out. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, stay tuned. See ya. <laughs> All right, we're back. The moment of truth. So this one is looking really good, already pretty straightened out. We're just going to recut this. Never pop cut toward in. yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, pop it in. Oops, making a mess here. Let's see how these other ones did. Oh, here was our one that was really struggling. It's already feeling a lot more hydrated than before, but I'm still going to give this guy a little bit longer in its bath. This one too. These look like they're still struggling a bit. Um, Oh my gosh, this one's definitely set. Oh, it's so much happier now. The rest of you, get in the tub. Get in the hot tub. Okay. All right. So you can see, I mean, just in a matter of 15 minutes, these guys are doing so much better. So Flora sat there if you got these and 
you're stressing out and you know you need to use them for wedding work, there is hope you can revive them, but you just have to go through the trouble of heating them up in really, really, really hot, almost boiling water. And like I'm saying, um, or I said it a little bit earlier, I have changed out the water many times. I actually did this with one hellebore that was, it really looked like it was fully dead, like completely. I wish I, I have photos of this somewhere buried in <laughs> all the digital clutter on my computer somewhere. If I can find the photo, I will post that on Instagram. But there was one particular hellebore that I used um, sort of as like a science experiment. And that one I changed the water on for an entire day. And at the beginning of the day, it looked awful. It looked like it was shot. And by the end of the day, it was able to be worked with and put into a bouquet. So there's hope. Don't give up on your hellebores. Keep trying, keep rehydrating them. These little guys are gonna go back into the pot for a little bit longer until they do what they need to do. Oh, this one's gorgeous and ready to go. And I might change the water one more time, make it hot again. And if I have time today, we're gonna film one more centerpiece style arrangement for you with the rest of those gorgeous peony style tulips. They were so, so pretty, be a shame not to use them. All right, so that's all for now. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or feel free to reach out to us. I'm always happy to help. I've been there, I've had this happen with hellebores. I've had days where peonies are, you know, as hard as could be, they're like drumsticks. Um, <laughs> and hydrangea, I've had hydrangea wilt a bunch of times on me. And there's always ways to revive these flowers. You just need to know what to do. So I'll make some more tutorials for those soon. All right, until next time, guys, thank you so much.